Hello friends, um, in today's episode we will talk about solar eclipse. We all know there is a Surya Grahan or solar eclipse on 26th of December or 25th December night in some of the countries. And the topic of today's video is eclipse and pregnant women. So what are some of the precautions that any pregnant woman should take during solar eclipse? We know pregnancy is the most blessed period in a woman's life where she plays a nurturer for the little baby one in her womb. As a mother to be, a woman so far protected, for the first time she plays a protector. No matter what it calls for, she assures nothing adverse affects the new life that she bears in her womb for nine months. These nine months are crucial for the well-being of both the mother and child and decides the health of the child in the time to come. Now, going by the ancient astrological beliefs, Rahu and the Ketu are malefic planets. Legend has it that once there was a strife between Rahu and the Devtas. So Rahu who used to be on the side of the demons or the Asuras. So the story goes both wanting to claim Amrit for immortality. And Lord Vishnu, he dressed as Mohini and seduced Rahu by her charm and stole the Amrit for, from him. Rahu decided to trick the Devtas and get back the Amrit. So, he disguised himself as a Devta and waited for his turn to get a drop of Amrit. To his disappointment, Surya and Chandra recognized him. Surya in the sense, sun, Chandra means moon. Vishnu chopped Rahu's head whereby he was divided into two grahas, Rahu the one with the head and Ketu, the one without head. However, to take a revenge against Surya and Chandra, which is sun and moon, Rahu decided to cast a shadow on both, which is what we know as solar eclipse or Surya Grahan and lunar eclipse or Chandra Grahan. It is this legend that gives rise to the traditional belief that Grahan Kal or during the time of the eclipse is an inauspicious period during which evil forces are active. Especially they are very harmful for pregnant women. So guys this is the story of the mythological belief behind solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Now, there are a lot of precautions women need to take during pregnancy to ensure delivery of a healthy baby. You must have read or heard from your, uh, you must have heard actually from your grandparents and elderly women home that Grahan Kaal is not good for a pregnant woman. Most of all, most of us consider this as a superstition. But if you ask an astrologer and he will tell you the belief and the basis of this age-old theory. There is no clear scientific fact that proves that solar eclipse affects pregnant women. Some researchers talk about the damage caused to offspring of animals to support their claim about the evil effects of Surya Grahan or solar eclipse on pregnant women. However, all these researchers are inconclusive. But, as I said, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Without any delay, let's go into the do's and the don'ts you can do during this solar eclipse. First, 
a pregnant woman should not view grahan with naked eyes which applies to everyone not only to pregnant women she should stay home and not be in the open during the eclipse do not use knife or any other sharp weapon at home during eclipse belief has it that cutting fruits and vegetables during eclipse will lead to the birth of a child with cleft organ third avoid wearing metals especially sari pins hair pin tightening pins and jewelry so you should avoid wearing all the metals metals basically many women also avoid sleeping during grahan now this depends in which part of the world you are say if you are in us or if you are in australia uk and the grahan happens in the midnight or in the early hours of morning so can this be applicable to you no but if you are in the time zone it's about to be night say 9 30 pm 10 pm or maybe 11 pm then instead of staying awake for a long time many people or many women do prefer to sleep some scriptures suggest that women should sit only on a bed with durva grass and chant the sanatan gopal mantra six many women take a bath before and after grahan seventh though many scientists argue that there is no solid ground in such beliefs pregnant women for years have found faith in these precautions the scientist argument that is easiest to give in favor of these precautions listed as that since eclipse is a phase that is anti the natural the normal course of that is anti the normal course of natural happenings is bound to have ill effects however we still believe that taking precautions is the best thing to do for both the interest of mother and the child So friends this is all my understanding of the solar eclipse and what are some of the precautions that you can take they can also recite mahamrityunjay mantra and also the stotra that i mentioned earlier in this video i wish all the mothers to be a great motherhood and hope that you and your little one is blessed with health and well-being live every moment experiencing the joy of being a creator nurturer and protector for your bundle of joy who is yet to come ags astrology wishes you all the best friends if you like this video please do not forget to click like share or subscribe this means a lot to us and gives us the motivation to make the set of new videos